Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to display the right angle triangle pattern. Here, if you look at the image, it looks like the reverse uh, right angle triangle pattern. So we will see how we can construct the logic and then we will see how we can construct the Python program. Now, what I have done here is I have divided this pattern in terms of rows and columns. And that's because while printing this pattern, we will be printing it row by row. So uh, we go to the first line, we will print whatever that we have to print for that first line. Then we go to the second line and then we go to the third line and we will do like that. So in the end, the whole image will look like a complete pattern. Now, as I said before, I have divided this pattern in terms of rows and columns. If you look at this, then this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row and also first column, second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. In this image, if you look at it in terms of rows and columns, then we can say that here the number of rows is equal to number of columns. And here we can see that we have uh, drawn this image for five rows. And since the number of rows equal to number of columns, we can say um, we have five columns also. Now the thing is we have to display certain amount of spaces and certain amount of star or any other character for a particular row. So we can't directly manually specify that, you know, that will be too easy. So what we have to do is we have to come up with the logic which will calculate the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row and also the number of stars or any other character that we have to print for a particular row. Now, if you look at this image, then we can say that total number of rows present in this pattern, uh, which, which I have drawn here is equal to five. Now, let's talk about the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row. So number of spaces for a row is equal to, if you look at this, then in the first row, we have four space and one star. In the second row, we have three space and two star. In the third row, we have two space and three stars. So the logic that we can construct is the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row is equal to total number of rows minus row number. That is, if you want to calculate the number of space that we have to print for the uh, third row, then that will be equal to total number of rows present in the pattern, which is equal to five minus row number. We want the spaces for the row number three. So if I write that, then we get two. So we have to print two spaces for this third row. Similarly, if you look at the first row, then it will be five minus one. For the fifth row, it will be five minus five, which will be zero. For the fifth row in this pattern, we don't have to print any space. Okay. This is the one logic that we will uh, use. And now we have to come up with a logic for displaying the number of stars for a particular row, number of star or any other character that we have to print for a particular row is actually equal to row number, which is nothing but in the first row, we have to print only one star in the fourth row we have to display four stars here. If you look at this image in the fifth row, we have to display five stars in the second row. We have to display two stars. So we can say that by looking at this image, the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row is equal to total number of rows present in the pattern minus row number. And the number of stars that we have to print for a particular row is equal to the row number value. So we will use these two logic and we will construct the program. So here, the first thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number of rows for which he wants the pattern. So I'm going to use the input function in here and I'm going to say enter the number of rows and whatever the number that the user will enter, the input function will return that in string form, but we want the number 
in number form in integer form so we will convert that to integer form by using int function and we will store it in a variable and i'm going to call it as total rows okay now the next thing that we have to do is we have to display the pattern row by row so we will use a for loop and i'm going to call the variable as row in a range and this range will start from one because we will start the row count from one and the range will end at total rows plus one here i have added this plus one that's because with this range function the end value is not inclusive so here uh, i'm I just for now show you guys the row value that we get I'm going to print the value that we get for the row variable and if I run this program now it says enter the number of rows and if I enter 5 then you guys can see we get 5 rows here if we don't write plus 1 and if we run this program and if I enter the number of rows then we're going to get only 4 rows that's because when we specify the range as 1 comma 5 it won't include that last value it will run for 1 2 3 4 since we want whatever the number of rows that the user wants here we will add plus one here and this is just to compensate the working of this range function okay now what i want to do for every row first we want to display the spaces so first we will display space and then we will display the star okay and after printing whatever that we have to display for the first row what we want to do we want to go to the next line for printing the next row and we can go to the next line by using this print function so if you don't specify anything here it will just insert a new line so whatever the next row will be printed it will be on the new line okay now here what we have to do is we have to display the space for every row so we have to calculate the number of spaces that we have to print and we have to display that and if you look at this image then the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row varies and we will be calculating that in our program using a logic so i'm going to use a for loop and i'm going to call this variable as space and it will be in a range and this range will start from 1 and the end value is the logic that we know for calculating the number of spaces that we have to print which is nothing but we have to perform total number of rows minus row number we will get the row number here in this row variable and after that i'm gonna add one to that and this one that we are adding here it is for the adjustment that we make for the working of this range function which i have explained before here okay and after that what we want to do we will display the space and we can use the print function and we can display a space and after that we want to tell this print function that after printing the space i don't want to go to the new line so we will say that the end value is nothing don't insert a new line in here if you don't specify the end value as nothing in here or you know just a blank string uh, here it will insert a new line that is the default behavior and we are using that uh, in this print function which is present in this end okay so here this will make sure that it will not insert a new line after printing a space so if I save this program and if I run this code, if I enter the number of rows as 5, you will get uh, nothing in here. Actually, it has printed some spaces for every row. And what I can do is I can display any character, for example, like hash instead of this space. And if I run the program and enter the number of rows as 5, then you guys can see we get the hash here. Here in this hash, we will have the space okay i'm going to change that one to space in here so one part is done the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the number of stars that we have to display and we have to display that since the number of stars will also vary and it will depend on a logic what we want to do is we will use a for loop 
and I'm going to call it as um, symbol. You know, we can give any name for the variable and it will be in a range. And this range will start from one and the end value will be the logic that we want that we use for calculating the uh, number of stars that we want to print, which is nothing but the value present in the row variable. And after that, we will add plus one. That is for the adjustment that we make for the working of this range function. And after that, in the body of this for loop, we can print whatever the character that we want to print. So we want to display star. And after that, we want to say that I don't want the end value to be a new line. I don't want to end this line at the moment. So we will say end is an empty string. So if we don't do that, then what happens is after printing a star for a particular row, you know, one star, it will insert a new line. For example, in the second row, we have two star. So what it does is it will display the star, then it will insert a new line. If that happens, then we will be not able to, you know, get our pattern. So we will specify that end is a empty string. Now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this code. Enter the number of rows. I'm going to say five. Now you guys can see we get this pattern. That is the pattern that we have talked about. Now here, instead of this star, we can display any other character or we can display the numbers. Maybe, you know, uh, whatever the number that we want to display. If you want, you can display the values present in this symbol variable or you can display the value present in this row variable. For example, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the value present in this um, uh, symbol variable. So I'm going to say um, I'm going to use a placeholder in here. I'm going to say dot format and we will provide the value as symbol variables value. OK, if I save this program and if I run this code, if I enter the number of rows as five, then we're going to get this pattern. So you can get different patterns just by uh, changing, you know, small values in here. One last modification that I'm going to show here for you guys is um, we were displaying star. If you add a space after displaying the star here or, you know, whatever the character that you want to display after that, if you add a space here and if you run this program, it says enter the number of rows five. Now you guys can see we get a completely different pattern. So just by adding the space, we were, we were able to get that different pattern in here. So you can make small changes and you can get different, different patterns. I want you to experiment with this code and uh, I want you to display different, different patterns. And uh, if you make any modifications, then post your code in the comment section. And if you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.